dying may be morbid for other people, black folks stay getting our entire lives, even in death. I mean, look at this woman's funeral. She went on to glory with three drinks, cigarettes, sunglasses, and a coat looking like Weekend at Bernie's. That picture is 100% real, by the way, dead ass. We definitely pay our last respects in our own way. But unfortunately, once we're in the ground, that respect often gets buried right along with us. Members of the Macedonia Baptist Church in Bethesda calling for a stop to plans to build a parking garage on top of the cemetery. Charlotte City leaders move forward with a controversial rezoning plan right next to a historic slave cemetery. The city council decided to allow apartments, shops, and restaurants on that land. They're not building shops so the ancestors can grab towels at Dead Bath & Beyond. <laughs> They're breaking ground on burial grounds because people value black cemeteries about as much as your grandmother values the back of her house shoes. We're not in the forest right now, Rob. This is literally the condition of East End Cemetery. Overgrown plots, cracked headstones, and trash dumps at two historic African-American grave sites. Somebody came out, brought a whole truckload of trash, and dumped it. Who dumps trash on dead black folks? I blame Trump, but he's too busy dumping on living black folks. <laughs> But anyone who thinks this disrespect towards our dead is new must get their history from Betsy DeVos's Instagram stories. Because this has been happening since Chiwetel was one year a slave. The history of black cemeteries goes again back to the 19th century. Blacks could not be buried in the white cemetery. Blacks could not be buried even in the Jewish cemetery. Dang, so Drake couldn't even spend eternity with his own people? <laughs> the cemetery must have had a sign that said, if you're reading this, you're too black to be buried here. Fast forward to today, and racists are winning in death, even though they took L's in life. The Confederate Memorial Park in Mountain Creek, funded entirely by something called the Confederate tax. Mm -hmm. That tax makes sure this Alabama park, covered in Confederate flags, is the best kept in the state. Mm. Taking better care of a Confederate cemetery makes no sense. I guess it's like they always say, not all servicemen are cremated equal. For decades, Camden's first black cemetery was concealed. More than 100 soldiers who served in the Civil War were buried there. Covered in trash, forgotten. Damn. So basically, the Confederates get the afterlife Coachella, and our folks are stuck at the fire Festival? <laughs> Thankfully, there is someone other than W.E.B. Du Bois who cares about the souls of black folk, even if they don't have the state's coins behind them. Efforts to clean up a cemetery unearths hundreds of graves belonging to slaves. A group of volunteers spent a year working to restore them. The next step in this project is filling in the uneven graves. Okay, volunteers, come through with the Extreme Makeover Grave Edition. And it already got picked up for another season. The previous caretaker of an abandoned black cemetery is passing on his shovel. Ed Hall is now taking on the responsibility of caring for the cemetery. But this isn't his first time taking charge of a historic cemetery. Hall has been taking care of Cedar Hill Cemetery in Harper's Ferry and Mount Hope in Martinsburg for as long as he can remember. This man cleans up three abandoned cemeteries? And you can't even get your co-workers to clean up three abandoned coffee mugs. <laughs> it's got a lot of history for me because I talk to them. Now, some people probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> and as amazing as it is to talk to dead people, Ed Knight Shyamalan can't do it on his own. Governor Terry McAuliffe signed legislation aimed at turning around conditions at historic black cemeteries statewide, like it does for Confederate grave sites. Consistent state funding for sites that have never gotten equal treatment is a big deal. We have opened the door to many forgotten forefathers to be remembered in an honorable way. So other states can keep letting good Samaritans do their dirty work or follow Virginia's lead and fund up some commas. <laughs> Looks like we're at what the bone thugs call the crossroads. And I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. We'll be right back. If you're in New York City, join us for a live taping. For free tickets, email tickets at therundownbet.com.